Distributed cloud is the future of cloud computing. I am not saying this. Gartner is saying this. But what is a distributed cloud? But before we discuss this complex topic, let us talk about corporations, their headquarters and branch offices because they have a lot in common with a distributed cloud. Remember, this channel is all about simplifying complex topics and bringing unique perspectives. Let's go. Before we start, first let us define a distributed cloud. A distributed cloud is an architecture where computing needs are distributed onto multiple physical locations. Instead of centralizing all your computing needs, you distribute them onto multiple clouds located in multiple physical locations. If you look at an organization, they all have headquarters where usually the senior leadership is located and they typically run their core operations from there. If you take a products company, for example, they might even have their main production facility in or around their headquarters. However, if they operate in multiple regions, they distribute their production facilities, warehouses and operations through multiple multiple branches or branch offices. They typically do this for multiple reasons. Number one, to bring manufacturing and operations closer to their customer base, meaning the demand. So they don't have to have to ship products long distances, even across country borders in many instances. Number two, to balance the workload based upon resource availability in multiple regions. Number three, to distribute the production and create fallback plans in case anything happens to one facility. And number four is regulatory requirements. The case for distributed cloud computing is no different than distributed operations. Historically, organizations' computing needs were met through a centralized data center that started to move to the cloud. While every cloud is distributed in some some form or the other, for the purposes of today's discussion, we can say that majority of the organizations today run on a quote-unquote central cloud because they are typically not distributed the way we are talking about in this video. Maybe that's a topic for another day. Again, moving to cloud typically brings some level of computing distribution, but what does a true distributed cloud look like? First, you need to take the computing closer to the data needs to minimize network traffic and improve latency, just like uh, uh, what the, the branch offices have done. For example, it doesn't make sense for customer data in France to travel all the way to a cloud located in, let's say, USA. Second, we must carefully distribute the load onto multiple clouds for faster performance. Third, we must consider fallbacks and full availability, especially in cases of one or more data centers going down or compromised, you know, through cyber attacks or other reasons. Finally, regulatory requirements play a significant role as well as some countries such as Russia and India, for example, require their data to stay in, this, in, in their countries. Summary is a distributed cloud strategy planning is similar to an organization's facility planning, except for it's more complicated, much more complicated. What goes on which cloud must be carefully thought through while ensuring data is still governed from a central cloud similar to headquarters in the case of uh, the physical world. There is no one size fits all solution here. Every industry is unique. Every business within an industry is unique. Let me end this video with one more thought. You probably heard about something called as edge computing. What is that and where does it fall in all this? Let me give you a hint. Organizations also typically have local sales offices or service locations serving customers directly, isn't it? They have resources there as well. So that is edge computing for you. But we shall peel that onion in a separate video as we are out of time today. Thank you for watching.